Good morning viewers, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity, almost getting cut off by a car, again, driving to work, driving to work, yep, it is a sunny morning, and uh, I'm feeling better, just in case anyone's really concerned about my health, um, I'm feeling better, I take my medicine and I feel better. It's been a gradual process, trust me. But, anyways, um, I am driving to work on. Look, it says Moto Man Tooth. It's got a glove box. I, well, I call it a glove box, but it's probably not really gloves that you're fitting inside of there. A speedometer that says up to 100. And uh, speakers. Can anyone guess what this is? Probably guessed it already by the title. Uh, but this is a Honda PCX, which is a 150cc, uh, is it air-cooled? I don't know. Water-cooled? Uh, maybe I should have looked it up before I started riding around in it. Um, and, uh, I let a, a friend of mine, uh, Landon, borrow my, uh, KPR 200. Uh, he just recently passed his uh, M-Class certification on his motorcycle and is considering buying a KPR 200, so I mean, why not? Why ride a KPR 200 around? Uh, I get a lot of slack for letting people borrow that bike or lots of my bikes uh, considering that I'm financially liable for them and uh, uh, responsible for all the costs of repair and all that stuff but uh, you know, even the most expert people drop bikes. Uh, police bike is a, I, in my opinion, an excellent rider, and he dropped my uh, KP Mini. Which, by the way, police bike, it still needs to be fixed. Anyways, um, so I guess the question in everyone's mind is, how does it ride? Well. It's very smooth. Uh, the flip position is a little weird for me, but that's because I'm not used to putting my feet on the floorboard. And, uh... Whoa. Yeah, you still gotta avoid the big manhole covers on this. Um, the windshield is, is very big. Uh, it was actually super dirty and I cleaned it so that you could actually see stuff today whenever I'm riding around. Um, it gets really good gas mileage from right here and this particular one tops out at around 60 which I'm pretty sure that if we tear open the CBT that the roller has flat spots. We got it at like, I don't know, not that many miles and now it's at 11,000. Uh, and the CVT is making some kind of weird noises, like a, a little bit of a grindy, grindy sound. So, I mean, it doesn't, it's, I bet you in a million bucks that if we open it up and clean up the CVT, there's stuff that's going on in there that needs to be replaced. I mean, it is a 150cc scooter, so um, it needs to cross over that maintenance period. Uh, he's already lost a rear rim. Uh, due to pothole and then uh, an experiment where he cut his exhaust off uh, to get a cooler sound out of it because I'm telling you right now it is super quiet can you hear it I'm sure you can barely hear it I'm convinced that this bike would make a great commuter <laughs> Like, I'm almost going 50 already. I'd love to tear this motor out and throw it in my, um, in my ruckus. Um, rather than a GY6, because then you could have, uh, PCX on PCX. I mean, uh, Honda on Honda, instead of Honda on China. Or buy a Chuckus and have China on China. I wonder if anyone's ever taken a Chuckus 
and put a jet motor in it and called it a rhina. Rhina. Instead of a chuck ch kiss. Rhine. Runa. Runa. So it's a ruckus. So it would be in China. Na. So runa. Anyways. Thank you for fighting that logic. Fighting through that uh, logic with me. I feel confident that uh, everyone now knows that uh, check us with a get motor is a rhino. Um, I could be getting in the left lane if I really, really wanted to. I mean, I will. Let's do it. There you go. At least the signal light has a cancel button. Really, all I ever want. <laughs> There's a cancel button. It is a little bit tall, though. I am on my tippy toes. I wonder if there's any mods for this. I mean, other than Harley speakers. Uh, he's driven this to Galveston from here, so... With two people on it, too. So, can't be that bad, right? Okay. I am liking the windshield, but... In the summer, that would be not cool because you want the wind to blow. But look at this ninja tuck. It's like silence, but deadly. I think I saw some parts on here off for Wii Bike once. And you know what, you can find these relatively cheap. I think I've seen them as low as like $1,500 for like a 2013. Uh, brand new, they seem to be kind of expensive, but I don't know. I don't work at a Honda dealership. Actually, this guy does. If, if you're in uh, the Houston area and you want to buy a Honda new, or even used, they have used bikes there too. You can uh, go see Landon. Um, post in the comments if you need a hookup in Houston if you want to buy a $600 R or a Ruckus brand new <laughs> uh, by saying that I enjoy this PCX. For those of you out there well, to uh, looking for a, a commuter or a fun bike or a passenger bike that you can drive around in rural, not rural, urban and suburban areas. Actually, this probably 
probably worth urban too. Uh, I'm pretty sure that if you tune it right, you can get the PCX to go 70. I mean, if I can make a Honda Ruckus go 57, I'm pretty sure you can make this PCX go uh, 70 miles per hour. I wonder if they make a big one for it. I don't know. It does make me feel like I'm riding a cruiser, like the Lycan. But, you know, it's all good. I enjoy it. Alright guys, we're coming up to the intersection of Doom. Don't worry, I won't do too many videos where I announce you're driving up into the intersection of Doom. But I will continue when I'm riding the Ruckus, uh, showing cars that are getting, uh, they're getting rucked. Uh, not rucked. Ruck shamed. <laughs> rucked. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Look at all these cars turning left. There's lots of them. Anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys are all awesome watching my channel. I really appreciate it. Even after the downsizing and, and, and stuff that's happening. Uh, I hope you guys can understand, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, here's the video that I'm talking about. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see everybody next time.